Hey guys, so today I'm here with a video showing you how to turn this into this. Before we begin, there is just one thing you'll need to download, and that is the Snow Transformation Pack. It is an all-in-one program that will entirely set up your Windows Vista or Windows 7 computer to look like Snow Leopard. So simply go ahead and download the file and go ahead and unzip it. But before we begin, there's just one more thing you will need to do. To install this, you will first need to disable user account control. Now this is both in Vista and Windows 7. Um, simply just go ahead and just type it in the search and you will be able to find it. And then on Windows 7, just drag it all the way down and in Windows Vista, just shut it off. Now once you hit OK, you will need to restart your computer. So go ahead, let it restart and come back. Now it's the very simple install. So simply come over here to the folder you downloaded earlier and then go ahead and open up the Snow tr Transformation Pack. Just go ahead and click Run and give it a moment. And then this is going to be very, very simple. So now just follow the simple prompts. Go ahead and just uninstall. That would be about the only thing I do is just not collect uh, the default home page. Go ahead and just hit next. It's going to be really quite simple. And go ahead and read through all the terms and agreements. Both of these. Go ahead and just read through all of them and hit next. And now you're going to need to pick one of these three. You're going to pick performance, which is going to just uh, just set it up. If you maybe if your computer is not very powerful, then this is probably what you want to go with performance. Um, but if you have a decent computer, I'll go ahead and go with completed, as it will give you a lot of extra tweaks and make it quite a bit better. You can also do customize, but to be honest, there really isn't a whole lot. If you if I were you, just go ahead and hit completed, and go ahead and hit next, and then hit transform. Okay, so after a quick restart, this is what our desktop now looks like. Uh, so, at first glance, it looks a lot like OS X. However, when you start to look at it, it's not perfect. Uh, but still, I think if you're coming off of OS X, coming over to Windows, or for whatever reason, maybe you are on Windows and you're tired of the way it looks, this is a pretty good option. So let me just show you a little bit about it. Um, now, the first thing you'll probably notice is that the top taskbar looks, well, nothing like the original OS X bar. Um, now, there is one thing. You can go ahead and shrink it down. However, it doesn't quite work. Um, all you have to do is come over here, I'll just actually show you, just come into properties and then come over here and use small icons and apply. But, once it goes ahead, as you can see here it leaves this little shadow here. And plus when you go to maximize windows, it does, that shadow just kind of gets in the way. So personally I would go ahead and just leave it. Um, but as you can see here, I'll go ahead and move it out, it does look, all the menus and everything do look quite good. So let me just go ahead and back out here. Uh, so just for example, let's go ahead and open up this. And as you can see, this looks nothing like the original uh, Windows 7. And I've got to admit, it looks very, very cool. They've used a lot of new fonts, the shadows, everything like that, which makes it look really, really nice. Um, and obviously, it's still the, uh, you know, the close and open and the expand buttons are all still on the right. They're not on the left, but still, it's not too bad. Um, now, as you can see here, you actually do have the dock. And actually, one thing you'll probably want to do is just right-click it. Uh, let's go ahead and go into settings and then go ahead and just make the dock a little bit bigger and make the magnification a little bit bigger. Uh, so as you can see here now, it looks just a little bit nicer. Of course, you can vary, you can kind of change that up. You can also change these, like, although they look like just the standard OS X icons, you actually, this is for Internet Explorer, this is for Media Center, etc., etc. But there you go, guys. That's it in a nutshell how to make your Windows Vista or Windows 7 computer look like pretty, pretty good like OS X. Uh, personally, I'm not really a huge fan of this. I love the way Windows 7 looks, especially. But if you're coming off, like I said, if you're coming off of uh, you know OS 10, you're coming over to Windows, or for whatever reason you just want to kind of spice it up a little bit, this is a very simple tweak. Um, all you have to do is basically just install it, and it's done. And if you ever want to uninstall, it's very simple. You can uninstall it just like any other program. So it's pretty much just go ahead and try it out if you're interested. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.